Here, let's just do this by ourselves. What are we doing? This is Heather, and I'm going to show her how this helicopter works, how any helicopter works. All right. Okay, and you can take turns holding the camera sometimes if you okay. have to. Okay, all right, have a seat. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me get this. This is my, this is my headband for when I film when with this little it. camera right here, see? So, okay, so you've got that stick that's sticking up there. It's called a cyclic. And if you move it sideways, you can see that the top blades are changing. Yep. Okay, well that that thing controls the disc, the way the disc is tilted. So when the blades are spinning, it's just like a plate, you know? Mm -hmm. So you, you this way or something. Yes, this way. exactly. Right, right. Like this now, <clears throat> now you've got foot pedals down here too. And when you push on them, if you look back and see the tail rotor, okay, push them back and forth and you can see the tail rotor changing. All it does is changes it changes pitch. So as you add power, the helicopter is naturally going to want to spin around the other direction. Okay. So that's what you use to stop it from doing that. Oh, okay. So that controls your yaw mode. Okay. Right. <clears throat> now down here with your left hand, reach down and lift up that lever. This one? Yes. Just pull it up. And look at the main rot rotor blades as you push it up and down, push it up and down. Oh, yeah. So as you lift up, you're taking a bigger bite of air. Yeah, one, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, now that's going to drag down. That'll drag down the engine. Okay. Uh, so you've got you notice on that grip there. You've got a, a motorcycle handle twist grip. No, on the on the oh, right on the here. collective yep. control. Oh. So as you rotate that, that that controls the engine RPM. Hope you recheck all this before you okay. take off. Okay. Now notice these two little gauges right here. Though, see, it's got a needle on either side. The left-hand one is for your rotor speed, and the right one is for your engine RPM. You have to keep those needles in that green arc all the time, and it's a chore. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, as you do anything, it's going to change a little bit. You know, and then you've got huh. temperature gauges, and you've got your airspeed control, your airspeed indicator. But I, I can't see it. Unless I lean my head way over, but I don't care how fast I'm going anyway. So, how fast does it go? It, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, at least 75. Oh, you're kidding? No, it's got a lot of power for That's the weight. Cool. Of course, that depends on wind and stuff, right? But you probably don't well, take this out when it's windy. Well, Did yeah, you? I fly when it's windy. Oh. So if you're flying into a headwind, you have to subtract that wind from your airspeed to get your ground speed and of course if you have a tailwind then you're just going that much faster so, this is so now you have to correlate all three of those yeah, that's you know you've got both feet and both hands and this. working so what is back and forth all the time this do, then? well it's moving something in the swash plate in the in the thing that, that tilts it forward and backwards okay different you know, than this though yeah obviously. right right so now a helicopter is actually a gyroscope and you know that if you push on a gyroscope when it's spinning, it's not going to go the direction you're pushing it in. It's going to go off 90 degrees towards that, hmm. which is one of the most confusing things they ever had to figure out about how to make a helicopter actually yeah. fly and go yeah. where you wanted it to. Yeah, so, huh. uh, so the controls are offset 90 degrees. Crazy. It is. It is. <laughs> it's really a strange thing. So where do you have to have it to get up? Well, what do you, you do to get up? Well, you start it up, okay. and uh, you you uh, warm it up, and then when it's warm, you know you increase your throttle until you get up into okay, the right RPM range, mm -hmm. and your rotor speed comes up. And once your rotor speed and your RPM are in the green arcs, then you just pull up you on that handle up there. And then you just go right up. Huh? Yeah. And of course, you you're gonna as you, up? as you as you as yeah as you do that, you're gonna have to use a lot of left pedal. Okay. You know, because it's going to want to torque around with you the other direction. So, huh. uh, yeah, cool. your body has to learn how to fly these things. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can talk about it all day long, but until your body learns how to do it, you know, you don't do, do you it. But once you get it, it's like riding a bicycle, and you never forget it. So how is that done since it's a one-seater? Oh, well, you learn in something. You learn in something else. Oh, same thing, kind of, just yeah. different. Yeah, okay. yeah, but it flies like every other helicopter in the world. So other helicopters have pedals like this? Oh, yeah, they oh, all have foot pedals. Okay. 
Very cool. We're making our movie. Me? Uh -huh. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. That that's 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 about it. I'll uh, right. take a look at the helicopter. This is the engine. There's a muffler, two carburetors. I'm has ready. dual ignition. So there's two sets of spark plugs. Uh, one for, you know, two for each cylinder. And uh, it's a reduced drive because the engine is turning about 6000 RPM. And the main rotor blades are turning about 500, so it goes through two gear reductions, which are done by belts. This is an ultralight helicopter, so it has a maximum of only five gallons of fuel allowed. And it weighs 254 pounds, which is the max limit for an ultralight aircraft. But as, as with an ultralight, you don't have to have a license to fly it. Oh, wow. You know, there's no... So I could take it off right now. And you could take it off right now. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, Jerry. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> that could be deadly. And Taz always greets me after yes. every flight. He's always He's glad I'm to so see glad. the. My daddy's alive. He thinks I'm a god from the machine when I come yeah. back down. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks, Heather. Thanks, Jerry. You'll be the... you'll be famous now. Okay. Okay. You guarantee it. Yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs>